children, I'm back again with another story. I hope you're all keeping yourself busy and enjoying this lovely sunshine we've been having. And I hope you are all staying safe and well. Well, I'm back with Minnie and Big Ted. And my story today is the crunching munching caterpillar. The Crunching Munching Caterpillar. Let's count the words in the title. One, two, three, four words in today's title. Caterpillar was always hungry. For weeks he crunched and munched his way through the fresh juicy leaves of a blackberry bush. One day Caterpillar was about to crunch into another leaf when Bzzz. Bumblebee landed beside him. Wow, said Caterpillar. How did you get here? Simple, said Bumblebee. I have wings, look. Oh, I'd like some of those, said Caterpillar. <laughs> Bumblebee flew up into the air and buzzed busily from flower to flower. Oh, I'd love to fly like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Bumblebee. I've got wings and you've got legs. Your legs are for walking. Oh, I guess so, sighed Caterpillar. <sniffs> Bumblebee flew off to the next bush. Watching Bumblebee fly had made Caterpillar very hungry. So he crunched and he munched until it was time for bed. Caterpillar woke to the sound of twittering. Birds swooped and soared in the early morning light. Caterpillar was just about to start his breakfast when Sparrow landed beside him. I'd love to fly high in the air like that, said Caterpillar. Well, you can't, said Sparrow. You need to be as light on the breeze. You're far too fat to fly. Your legs are for walking. Oh, I guess so, said Caterpillar glumly. Caterpillar carried on crunching, munching all day until the light began to dim. He wrapped a leaf around himself to keep warm. He was just about to go to sleep when... Butterfly landed gracefully beside him. Oh, I wish I could fly like you, sighed Caterpillar, but I'm too fat and I have legs instead of wings. Butterfly smiled a secret knowing smile. Who knows? Perhaps one day you will fly light as a feather, like me, she said. But now, little Caterpillar, you should go to sleep. You look very tired. Butterfly was right. Caterpillar suddenly felt very sleepy. As Butterfly flew off into the night sky, he fell into a deep, deep sleep. Caterpillar slept all through the winter and his sleep was filled with dreams. He dreamed he had wings and was soaring in the blue sky above the tall trees. He dreamed he was a dandelion clock drifting towards the sun. He dreamed he was as light as a feather floating on the breeze. When Caterpillar woke up he felt the warmth of the spring sun. He was stiff from his long sleep but he did not feel very hungry. He stretched and stretched And a breeze lifted Caterpillar into the air. He was no longer short and plump. He had wings. Great, big, wonderful butterfly wings. Wow, said young butterfly. I'm flying. I'm really flying. That's the 
end of the story. I hope you enjoyed my story. Maybe you could think about if you had wings, where would you fly to? And I'll be back soon for another story.